Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy IV. So, in the last episode, we made it to the jungle portion after beating the Praetorian and all the other bosses in the areas, and we've been having a bit of a hard time with the random enemies. The bosses have been no trouble for the most part, but for some reason these random, like, horde encounters are the absolute worst. Just shows where I shine, right? <laughs> Alright, now we take on the Reflessia. Rainbow Reflessia? Looks like there's a pot of pain at the end of the rainbow. Um, let's check it out. Two new enemy types. The Rain Bloom, a rainbow-colored flower which uses all sort of elemental spells, suicides when siphoned or berserked. Okay, so they're weak to wind. Rainbow Reflessia, a beautiful plant monster which uses poison attacks and all sorts of elemental spells summons rain blooms for support so weak to wind um okay i need a heavy resistance to poison and a heavy offense of wind so i'll be right back air support nerve gas now yes i know it's illegal but this is an emergency foes must be killed Oh, charged up. This'll be good. Whoa! And those guys are dead. Okay. Now that I did that, I can buy a plutonium core. Hello, Rainbow Reflessia. What the? Okay. So they don't care either way about poison, but I have some poison stuff on a good old lance over here because, you know, sometimes you just need a little bit of poison in your life, and by need a little bit of poison I mean I need to make it so that I'm not taking poison damage. And they are. How do they- wait, how do they feel about fire? They don't care one way or another, perfect. Um, actually they don't care one th way or another about most things. By the way, when I cut in a minute ago, it was actually because I was grinding up some money. I needed the money to buy the plutonium core to upgrade his sword all the way. Okay. Now fire. Here, actually let's debilitate the enemy. this battle is half as easy as the other bosses, then this is going to be a joke. I wonder what sort of spells this guy can use. Probably quite a variety from the looks of things. Should four fifty. You know what? Let's just drop some bombs on them. keep this poison train rolling. Wow. 
wow. I should feel bad about how, you know, cheap this is, but it really doesn't matter. Oh, come on. He can't... He can totally heal himself. Great. Dispel their buffs. Did not work. Oh, immune to being inflicted with bad status effects, including death and dispel. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. I guess I have to do this legitimately now. I'm gonna affect depending on current weapon high critical hit rate. My gun's overheating, I better take it easy for a while. Yeah, just like all the other boss battles we've done thus far, this is not going to be a big thing. He's already, you know, two-thirds of the way dead, and I have not come into any kind of actual danger. I've had one person die, and they were just immediately rezzed. And that was because they were weak to fire. Especially if they keep using electricity on... Taste the rainbow, trademark. Well, I tried to say if they keep using electricity, but he used rainbow power, whatever that is. Okay. This scan bot is actually starting to annoy me. This is why I don't like wearing this armor, because the scan bot is actually kind of annoying. using this once more. Alright, we'll be done with the next couple turns. Oh no, he's dead. It's almost like I have the ability to res him whenever I desire, so I don't really care. Return to compost heap from whence you came. I can't believe that actually works. I was curious to see if I could do it after coming back from the dead, and sure enough, you can. So, that doesn't seem right. And that's the battle. A really easy one, actually. End of the rainbow. That's for killing the rainbow Reflessia. Okay, we got the Death Mask. Buff attack when hit by a powerful attack. It lowers our accuracy, but ups our attack and our resistance to darkness. Ham and beef. Use those immediately. Hmm, advanced block puzzles, huh? Okay, we got the Accelerator. May charge up Hyper Beam at the start of each turn. Randomly cast speed up between turns. Nice. We got 10 coffee, sushi, and another honeycomb, which I shall immediately use. Alright. Ah, I don't want to fight these things. I don't like the horde battles, and I will have to do them all eventually. I just don't want to do them right now. Coffee, beef, and donuts. A plutonium core. Awesome. That thing I needed that I had to grind up a bunch. Oh, great. Amazing. <laughs> okay. What are these guys weak against? What are they strong against? Wind. Wind. Cool. Good setup. Awesome. Amazing. Great. Stop summoning the scan bot. I need to change his armor. I don't think I can handle this. Cool. Just keep attacking Matt. He'll just keep counterattacking and killing you. 
please. Do I really not have any kind of buff with him? Whatever, I guess I'll charge Hyper Beam. They feel about light. No one cares. Let's do it. That way I don't have this just sitting in my back pocket for the rest of the battle. They're all gonna be immune to everything I have, so not what I'm trying to do. Try harder this time, as to worry you have no excuse for death. I guess I got game overs the last times I've seen that, because I know I've seen that message at least three times. God, there was a dragon on the field. I thought it was only gonna be one. I was actually rather hoping, but of course, um, we have two poison, ice, electricity, water, ice, and that's it. Water. Okay, they're all weak to water, which I just switched away from. Well, screw me, I guess. So which one was weak to poison? You. You guys immune to poison? No, you just take half damage and he takes normal. And the guy who's weak to poison got hit by the poison thing, which is lucky for me, right? Genesis. The ultimate skill for a dragon fight that isn't, you know, white dragons. So much slowdown, I'm hoping that's not picking up on the recording. Okay, one more hit with the ice on you. Ow. 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 Okay. How do you guys feel about bombs? You're all 50% immune to it. You know what? Ion cannon, I think. That... wait. Problem is, he would absorb that one. 
Let's just use bombs, I guess. I was rather hoping it would focus the blue one after that, but alright. Everyone's dead. And, uh... Everyone's dead! Why does this happen every battle? Seriously. And we're back here. Apparently not doing so well. Except I have two, you know, limit breaks ready to use immediately. Okay, now that they're being weakened each turn, aka okay, damage down, um, let's charge up that. Ow. Okay, limit break go. Ooh. I think I'm gonna do this even though it might be better do the other one. I've got to get this dragon dead soon. Morale status is the most useless thing for these guys. I can't deal... Actually, I can deal 125,000, but I'm not dealing 125,000 damage to these guys, so... Time to use a bit of light magic. Wow, that actually worked way better than I thought it would. Somehow I survived. Awesome. And that's two dragons down. Matt has officially become the healer. That's the battle. We did it. Bit of a pain, but we did it. Ninja Skirt doubles the power of attacking items. Randomly cast Bind between turns. Silk and Satin. Cat food, burgers, and orange juice. Bubble Stone, Salt, Water, and Sushi. Awesome. Uh. I actually I can open this door over here, right? I'm pretty sure I just saw a zombie lance. Hmm. I'm gonna have to remember to come back here because I don't want to do these yet. Mainly because these are exhausting me. Uh guys, why are we over there? I didn't eat any mushrooms, I swear. Oh my god, Cat, that really does look like us over there in the shadows. What's going on? Is the game glitched? Is that the correct term? I only see slightly uglier versions of you guys. There's no one that looks like me, though. I think I've been spared the embarrassment. I think those evil are evil versions of us, the main characters. This seems to be a trend in video games for some reason. Don't worry, they're not canon or even sentient. We just need to defeat them to get past this area. So we have to kill ourselves? That's so sad. I couldn't possibly do that. Maybe we should just be friends with them. They're evil, Anna. It doesn't work that way. It's impossible to reason with them. Of course it's impossible with that attitude. I've always wanted a chance to kill you guys. The developers have finally listened to my hate mail. I'm very hyped for this battle. That's somewhat worrying to hear, but also not surprising. Alright, then let's just do what needs to be done. So... Um, I don't know what he's talking about. He's right there. <laughs> All right. I... If I want to... Do I just 1v1 them, I guess? 
Oh my dear god, Cat, I'm hideous. I might have looked a bit like that during my goth phase. Okay, red crystal, blue crystal, and whatever she is. Okay, Dark Natalie. Uses dark fire and ice elemental attacks, has high magic defense, summons red and blue crystals. She's weak to wind and light. Okay, give me a moment. She casts Siphon on them. Hmm, Nats likes to spam massive spells, so I suppose evil Nats is not so much different then. Well, that's unfortunate. I almost have enough to use Genesis. Okay, I have enough to use Genesis now. Oh no, not darkness. My one weakness, you've got me. Ah. Yeah, the battles where I just have one big enemy aren't really that bad. As long as I keep the healing up, that is. I think she might be immune. Yeah, she's immune to Siphon, sadly. Guess it's time to buff Matt. Did she just eat a bat? No! Just no! She mean to dispel? Which one's dispel? I really don't know. Here, I have to check mine. Yeah, she's not immune, but she resists at 70%, so it's probably not worth casting on her. Okay. She has a limit break. Oh no. Might as well cast as fast as possible because it's about to get bad for me. So she's casting something big and probably evil. I haven't cast that spell yet. <laughs> Great. Okay. Hmm, evil Natalie should be have pretty low physical defense. Natalie's really soft. You can actually I was curious if you could, and you totally can. You can do the jiggle thing to her. Great. Just fantastic. Watch she berserk herself. Whatever. I was hoping she wouldn't have the strength to swing that thing. She's gone berserk. Oh, that's why she might do that. It's because she gets three turns when she does that.
Also, this music's pretty awesome. That's unfortunate. Use them or lose them, right? Oh god, she just, she went berserk again. I have to try to dispel it. And it worked, cool. Not too much longer. Oh god, her limp breaks back up. That's also one we haven't done. Huh. Interesting. Well, I uh, understand that, and I counter you with my limit break. Goodbye, evil clone of me. I hope we never meet again. We got diamond from it. Dark Seductress. I need a heal. I'll be right back. Alright, um... You know what, guys? Next time on Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy IV. We've done a lot this episode, I think, and, uh... Or at least a few battles, I should say. Not a huge amount, but enough to warrant me saying next time. We're going to be taking down the rest of the evil clones and accessing whatever's up there. Hopefully it's nothing bad. Well, let's take on good old Lance over here next because, I mean, totally no other Lance anywhere according to Lance. Hmm. I'll see you all next time.